name is Ken Ueno. The sound installation I made for Muak is called um, Liquid Lucretius. Of course, the name, Liquid Lucretius, the, um, the historical reference is to the ancient Roman philosopher Lucretius, who was one of the um, first people to conceive of the universe as being made up of tiny atoms and being inspired by this uh, specific sound installation space with 24-channel uh, sound, I was um, thinking a, way, a good way to articulate the sound and the movement of sound through the space was to have a granular sound, so kind of um, evocative of atoms, maybe. But I also thought of flock of uh, birds flying. There is no narrative per se, because um, there is no beginning, middle, and end. It's an installation, so it's constantly running. And um, so that's how it's different from a concert piece, like I say, like a piece of um, uh, chamber music or an orchestra piece. Uh, it's designed so that as you walk into the space, there's a kind of initial gestalt of the identity of the piece that's perceivable and immediately graspable. But the software that's running the piece continuously um, unfolds the piece. So the longer you stay, you also realize it's, it's changing. And so hopefully there's a, more of a takeaway, different kinds of takeaways as you, you experience the piece differently, as you, the audience, determines the temporality of the engagement yourself. There's um, different takeaways from it. So the main sounds are um, two. One, uh, synthesized sounds that are granular, that means it's kind of small and articulate, and it sounds like, yeah, you know, and that's moving around. And that sound is what's called convolved, mixed, uh, hybrid, uh, made hybrid with um, sounds of my own voice breathing. Right? That was a way to kind of think about making the sounds feel more organic. And so those two sounds are continuously um, flying around the space and mixing, and then making a third sound, a hybrid between those. And um, there are two other, what I call Easter eggs, every once in a while, about every five minutes, from another, from a different location is another recording of my voice just breathing, like... And then every, every, every once in a while, like every Christmas, there's like, this is one sound that you hear. It's just like someone speaking. No? It's a poem that I wrote, but that um, is based on sibilance, these S's that you can barely perceive, but you can hear the S's and you go, you're supposed to think like, um, oh, well, did I hear it? What is it? You know? And then if you stay there long enough, for another Christmas, you can <laughs> hear it again. Maybe it's clearer that time, and it'll be coming from a different space. <laughs> <laughs>